We have a new entry to add in. Name, Matsuo. Age, 26. Species, Mystic. Race, Caucasian. Weapon of choice, Greatsword. Personality, Respectful, Calm. Appearance, White Armor and Hair. Part of the Shiwong Army. A Mystic and a Master of the Greatsword. Said to be the son of the previous Mystic Emperor before the Brat Emperor stepped up. Matsuo didn't take the responsibility of taking the throne and being the overseer of the realms. So instead they let the most talented brat take over and Matsuo stands as a loyal guard to him. The Mystic Emperor now sent Matsuo over to the side of the more virtuous army, the Shiwong. I imagine that he will be quite the asset for the Shiwong army, but also a huge asset for me as well. Not too much other information on him. The Mystic Emperors and their family's history and backstories were always kept in the dark. But I'm confident I'll get my hands on them soon enough. But for now, let's see how he fares on the battlefield. What's up, Warriors of Jigoku? It is a time again. A time? It is time again. <laughs> Sorry, you know how I am. When I uh, read from a script, I get, tend to get stupid. Even if it's for, it's like, wow. Even if it is for like a minute or two, it's still, whoa. So this is, was one of the cases where um, I was actually asked about my my lore and everything. Oh, good lord. I hit like a freaking slowy McGee here. Good lord. Luckily, um, the person who gave me this, Aiden, decided to put on lightning speed so I can do this. If I really get truly annoyed, so big shout out to Aiden for that. So yeah, this was one of the cases where someone asked me about um, my lore and was pretty much just saying like, hey, so what can I do to implement my character better into your story? And I was like, I mean, you don't have to do that, but he was adamant on doing it. And I really dig the character, so I was like, you know what? We'll make, and also, since this is non-canon, we'll have it so where um, there was an emperor before my current mystic emperor, and have them be the one to, and he could or Matsuo can be the son of that said emperor. So right now, yes, I guess he technically is the brat emperor. He he his appearance is very much of a young, like maybe teenager, maybe. So people could mistake him for probably as a child or teenager, even though he's lived hundreds of years and everything. I'm attacking slow again. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I love the greatsword. It's just that... Oh boy. Hip. For some reason, attack really slow with this thing. Oh no, Molly! And... I like it when, when people try to put some mystique in their characters, which is perfectly cool to me. I know some of the other guys are already doing that. I know um, Kuru decided, to, or Kawaii Tostele, excuse me, aka uh, Kuru, decided to put in um, some mystique and like or mystery for um, Ayame, and I was perfectly okay with that. And it actually is cool as well because I didn't even mention this to him. There actually is mystery behind my Mystic Emperor character, who is a very big key player, as you can clearly tell. For me, in this story. The Mystic Emperor is the overseer of the realm, so I'm not saying he's like a god tier. I actually have plans of possibly making something even stronger than that down the line. But in terms of mystics, he's as strong as they come. He's pretty much, from what we know, and I can't even say mortal because he's pretty much on that realm of like god tier. The only thing is, I never put him in battles unless it's like for certain, very certain occasions. But it's never to help gain a victory or anything. It's just to get into a fight. So he can be a game changer, but he refuses to because um, in my story, he actually does try to... When there's chaos going on in my canon story realm, he actually... Hang on, I want to kill Sakura real quick. Oh! 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 You're dumb! But, um... Thinking you could take on a great sword, please. Do you see my strength? Okay. So in my main story, really, I had to be on this side. That's that's crazy. 
So, yeah, as I was saying, in my story, uh, in the realm where Light and my main character is pretty much resigned, aside from, like, Hikri and Ember and stuff, um, there was chaos going on, and Light, along with Sin and Chen Shun, and um, another one that I have not introduced yet named Qin, they are pretty much trying to, trying to fight for supremacy of the land and everything. And the Mystic Emperor is seeing this, and he's really not pleased with the civil war that is going on in, like, separate countries in this realm. So he himself tries to put an end to it and try to just make that realm under his banner. But um, eventually his army gets overpowered, and Light ends up convincing him that let these people handle it the, their own way. Now, Light also knowing, like, this is probably also a dumb move because I, he knows how humans can be and everything, and they can instantly, like stab each other in the back and just cause more war but light had, this was around the time when light was getting more comfortable with humans and having more trust in them because he was surrounded by so many people so he was pretty much just he, he was he was seeing that not every human can be can be bad can they always change to be bad yes but light ended up realizing like whatever happens happens but this is the human's realm you're just the overseer you're not really you shouldn't be, like, meddling in other people's uh, realms like this and trying to, like, conquer it to make it your own. And so he was able to convince the Emperor of that. Not by beating him, mind you. Light can't beat him. <laughs> the, the, the Mystic Emperor is, like, on his own tier. He may have the body of, like, a young, like, teenager or preteen even from the looks of it. But he is extremely, like, god-tier powerful. And Light, I'm going to tell you, is probably never going to get to that level. So before anyone's like, oh, so your main character's going to be like God tier. No, he's actually not. There's going to be people that are even stronger than him. And if anything, if there ever is, he's going to need help. Light is never going to single-handedly, like, absolutely destroy someone. That's pretty much what my story goes with, because I like to take things from a realistic standpoint. Can some Because they always try to do something with most main characters when they say, you can't do everything yourself. And this is where... For me personally, because I whatever I feel, Light feels the same way. Because Light, Light, the character Light, it pretty much just simplifies me in ways as well. You learn that you can't do everything yourself. You're not like an all-powerful person, so you're gonna need your friends to back you up pretty much most of the time. So that's pretty much the kind of thing. So that's why Light himself isn't the main main. He's the he's like the main character, but there are also other main characters that will help him throughout every single struggle of his. And he will be there to help them with their struggles. And when it comes to, like, big bad villain bosses and stuff, that is where uh, his friends will come in and help him. That's... What's happening? Oh, please tell me this is good. But Please? I'm begging thee? I'm begging thy, please? Was that us? Are, are, are we good? Oh, we did Inferno. Oh, Molly! That's right. That's, uh, Skylar, a.k.a., uh... Hate Power Noob. Actually, I don't know what his name is now because he changed his gamer tag and everything. I don't know if it's going to be a full-blown thing, so I don't know. But uh, for now, I'll just say Skylar. At least for right now, you all know him as Hate Power Noob because you've seen him in my live stream and stuff. That's his character. He uh, was cool enough to put three or four of his characters in. Oh, hello there, Freya. I'm still powerful. Can this cover fire, like, just not? But, uh, sorry, I got sidetracked there. So, yeah, for me, I don't want it to just be, like, even though this is called, I, I, even the title of my thing isn't completely set in stone. For now, I'm calling it the Hybrid's Tale. But for one, there are multiple hybrids. And there are also other characters who are not hybrids, so I might end up changing the name. I could go the... The Naruto route and just call it light, but that's just dumb. I'm not gonna do that. Even though it's funny, they call the show Naruto, but which don't get me wrong, I ain't bashing it. I love, I am in love with Naruto. Naruto is one of my favorite anime up there. Um, but they able, they are able. It's funny because they they call it just Naruto, but there's also. Like, they also show, like, uh, the other characters, like, the other side characters, I guess you could say, or the other tuning or uh, getting, I guess you could say, if we're talking about the OG Naruto. They give them so much spotlight as well. So, I want to... It's pretty much me trying to do something like that. So, like, I would do something that's based off 
like light for make maybe the title of this of this whole story or series whatever it is maybe one day it can be a series but it's also going to be focusing on the other characters as well but i'm going to try to make it so it's not filler cuz i know <laughs> i know a lot of anime and they're filler like good lord it's it's a thing all right i'll tell you so that's pretty much what my thing's going to be based on. It's it's going to be, like, I think, honestly, the only... Th no, actually, no. I don't think Light... Like, I think he beats one person on his own. But that's it. But other than that, it's usually either someone else. Because I want to give other characters the spotlight. But I'm not going to make it so, like, everyone gets the spotlight. Because that would just make the whole story go out of whack. It's going to be... It's, there's a handful of special characters that I focus on. And that's where all that attention is going to be. Let's go help out uh, the allies over here. Freya and Cole Hotanaka. Yes. Oh. I just realized Matsuo has two spin attacks. I think this one's also spin, isn't it, technically? Yeah, it is. But I mean, this one does a lot better. The other one's just one powerful swing. This one's like multiple. Oh, shoot. Oh, I missed. Oh, imagine missing. Wait, can this be charged? Is this charged up? I actually have no idea if this is charged or not. Hang on. I think I'm charging this up. I think. Does this does this do anything? I guess it's just like a bigger blast race. I just try to hit the right stick. Thinking I can lock onto the enemy officer. Wow. Oh wow, that, I'm surprised that reached. And hey, if sometimes it this is actually a good occasion right here. Um if you want to leave your character in mis, in like mystery or even if you guys don't have a backstory for your characters, that's perfectly acceptable. You guys don't have to have a backstory for your character to submit one. Don't think you have to. If you want to just give one because you want to be part of this be be free to do so by all means do so if you have a couple characters or just a character you want to show yo Freya you need to chill girl all right, I'm going to have to blast all of you into kingdom come here we go well she's gone My strength. Ow. So yeah, don't ever feel like if you want to do it, you're up. You have to make. You have to put a backstory in. You don't have to. You really don't have to. You could just put in your character, and then we can just do the showcase and everything. Also, for those of you who have uh, not realized yet, because there might be a couple of you. Um, I did start. Ah, I did start up. Wait, we're we're just gonna do this real quick. Oh, that's right. Ember's the commander here. And also, I know I do my usual thing where I would like add in new characters. If I put my characters in, you'll they'll get like a second to show like on their ID cards and everything. That's gonna happen in the next one. Honestly, the reason why she wasn't in this one along with Freya and one other character, it's literally just because I didn't have time. That's the reason why. Crap! I thought I forgot. I was I, I was I think I was saying something, but I completely forgot. Oh oh oh! The Empire series. So yeah, I did start an Empire series. This is just so for those of you who are like, oh, he's already starting it and everything. Don't worry. There's going to be multiple seasons of this, and I will let you guys know when that's done. Regardless, Fanlore Friday is still a thing, and it's still going to keep rocking and rolling. We're going to keep doing this weekly thing and everything, so no worries on that. Also, if you have someone who has two characters with the exact same backstory, so like their backstories are literally like word for word everything, or if they're just part of the same lore, you can easily put them in as well. But don't say like you're giving me one backstory for a character and then giving me another one and say, hey, do them in two, do this in the same video. That's going to take forever because doing these scripts can be a little tedious and time consuming, so if they have their own backstories, 
then they're going to be separate. If they're in one backstory that I can just read from one script, so if they're one script worth of a backstory, then I will more than I'll be more than happy to showcase each character in the same video as well as read that backstory. And like I said, if you don't have one, don't worry about it. So for those of you who are new and are worried that you need a backstory, you don't. And for those of you who aren't, and like I said, for, for the new people, if you want to do this, you can submit your character in the comments or join our Discord, and there's a link down there so you can click on it, and you will be able to join our Discord. It's a pretty casual, awesome place with a lot of cool people, and there are there is a whole Fanlore Friday section there where you can put them in the respectable army that you want them to be in, and put uh, put in their information, and you can also put the pictures in there as well, like because we have a picture section as well. So you can do all that, as well as put in their backstory and all that if you have one for them. So. There's two, there's two methods right there. I really prefer the Discord one because it'll actually be easier on you and me because it'll be just in one place and we don't have to go digging in the comments or anything for it. So if you want to do that, be sure to do that. So with all that being said, guys, I hope you all did enjoy the showcase of Matsuo the Sun. I was about to say the king, idiot. The son of the previous Mystic Emperor. Pretty cool. Pretty cool character and everything. And I like, uh, I, like I, I, I like characters with mystery behind them. So I'm all for, I'm all for some Matsuo action. So with all that being said, guys, if you all did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below as well, and I will see you all. Oh, I've been said. I, I think I say this. It's it's been a hot minute because I did a separate. We are trying to hit 500 subs before summer, and we are past that 400 mark. So thank you to all of you who have been hitting that subscribe button. I am very well pleased, regardless of what happens. I'm extremely happy with all of you guys, and very grateful for all of you who've been hitting that sub button. So thank you to all of you. For those of you who are new and you're enjoying the content sure to hit that sub button so with all that being said guys thank you all very much for watching this video and i'll see you all in the next one farewell <laughs>